Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Vesting Twelve Cents. So we're back again on our SARS series, talking about the SARS-like tendencies that people, regular everyday Nigerians, both men and women, tend to exhibit. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, employees, sales girls, sales boys, uh, attendants in different organizations, different establishments. Apparently, some of them are the devil reincarnated. You hire someone to help you take your business to the next level, to help you stay there, manage your business. You pay them a fair salary, but the only thing they want to do is to wreck your organization. And these same said people will go out and complain about how bad the country is, regardless of how well they've been treated in the office. So what I don't understand, these people, they're thinking, they obviously don't have any sense. We, we, I think let's just I'll accept that. They don't have any sense because if you're working somewhere and all you do is to steal the money, steal things from there, or get paid for goods and services, not remit it, even bring your own goods to sell there and not sell your boss's own. So what do you think is going to happen eventually? How will your boss now be able to pay your salary? We know some bosses are terrible. We're ahead of some. Keep making money. Transfer money out of the company accounts before the staff can have access to it and not pay them for like a year. Some, some bosses are, are, are mad. they've lost their natural born minds. They don't have any sense anymore. But we're not talking about bad bosses now. We're talking about good bosses, okay bosses that hire people in the organization. And the only thing those people want to do is to wreck the place. So when you wreck the place, where will you get money going forward? Or you think the money you've stolen to go and buy a house, to go and build something or buy a car to use for Uber or whatever, that will, that's enough for you for the rest of your life. How do people think for goodness sake? And these same same people will open their mouths and complain about the state of the country without admitting to their own fault in making it worse. More people should be going to jail. Though. I, I keep saying this, but nobody listens to me. More people should be going to jail. Maybe when you go to jail, when is it? As in proper, not fake jail. You go there and it stays on your record. You were a thief. You stole something. Because I don't get it. If you uh, you are stealing because the things are expensive, the, uh, you ask your boss for a raise, they didn't give you a raise, get another job. I know it's not that easy. Get a side hustle. I, I, I know I'm saying this thing. I'm not being flippant. But stealing from someone is not the solution to your poverty. Or making more money it's not a it's not a plan because one day one day you will get caught there and you get thrown out on your ear so what what happens then so you're complaining now your, your boss is not paying you enough money to go to work to buy clothes to come to work to buy food to take care of your children so the next thing to do is to steal from that boss so when you get caught and get sent to prison or get put in detention who pays your rent who takes care of those your children that you're stealing to support who takes care of them then hmm? who takes care of them you see you, you didn't think about it you didn't think this thing through did you we need to have more sense so employees that are on this table i think just take a tincture of sense uh -huh. manage that one because this your your act is not it, it's not sustainable you can't continue like this you really can't okay Find a plan, find a mentor, speak to, someone, or speak to somebody that can advise you on how to increase your earnings and do something else. Don't go to prison while trying to like live a good life. I'm not saying you're trying to bam bam and chill with the big boys. No, this is not what I'm talking about. All right. So please, let, let's be guided, okay? Stealing from your bosses is not the way at all. So you guys take care. I think we'll come to the end of this episodes now. Look forward to seeing us in um, season five. We're doing a lot of work. So we just said, let's, you, let's give you guys this as episodes just to whet your appetite. We're coming up with greater things in season five. So on that note, you guys, thanks for watching. Look out for our next videos next season. Bye-bye.